Russian peasant method is one of the most interesting multiplication methods that I've seen. But it's also challenging, especially when you try to understand how and why it works. So let's start with what do you do to do Russian peasant method. You have two numbers that you're multiplying together. And you end up cutting one in half and doubling the other. And then cutting that in half and then doubling that. And you keep going until you get down to one on the side that you're cutting in half. I decided to cut 36 in half because it's even and because I'd rather double the smaller number because once you start doubling a lot, your numbers get bigger and a little bit harder to deal with. So 36 cut in half would be 18. It takes two 18s to make 36. But because I cut 36 in half, I have to double 11. Two 11s makes 22. Now I have to cut 18 in half. 18 in half is 9. Now 22 doubled is 44. I can't cut 9 in half. This is where Russian peasant method is really interesting. They decided, so I can't cut 9 in half evenly. I'll just look at the next lower number. Right underneath a 9, there's an 8. And I can cut an 8 in half, and that would be 4. So they look at the next lower number and they cut it in half. And then they keep on doubling like normal. Cut the four in half, you get two. 88 times two is 176. You can check it if you want. Half of two is one. And twice 176 is, well, let's see, 12, 15, 352. This is where the method starts to get really weird. We're going to be crossing out all of the pairs where the number that we cut in half was even. So 36 we cut in half, that was even. 18 is even, so we cross that out. 9 is odd, we're going to leave that. 4 is even, cross that out. 2 is even, cross that out. One is odd. We keep it. Why do we cross out the even numbers and keep the odd numbers? Is the question that you should be asking right now. And the answer is that when I cut one number in half and double the other, I'm not changing the answer to my problem. To see why that is, we're going to look at 4 times 6. You can see over here I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 4 times 6. 4 times 6 is 24. Ah, come on. So, if I cut 6 in half, I get 3. And if I double 4, I get 8. And 8 times 3, if you know your times tables, you know that's 24. Let's show it on our model. I cut the 6 in half, so I cut it in half going this way. And I doubled the 4. So it was 4 wide, now it's 8 wide. It's still 24, it's just that now it's 3 tall and 8 wide. Or, another way I could do it, I could cut the 4 in half and double the 6. Half of 4 is 2. If I double the 6, I get 12. 2 times 12 is still 24. Let's look at our model again. If I cut the 4 in half, okay, now it's only going to be 2 wide. But it's twice as tall. It's 12 tall now instead of 6 tall. And of course, there's still 24 dots. That's the whole idea. So, that's why we cross out the even ones, because we didn't actually change our answer. So, this is the same problem as this, which is the same problem. 
Well, it's not actually not the same problem as this, and we'll get to that in a second. Here, this is where it's interesting. We cut the 9 in half, but we dropped off that extra number, because 9 doesn't cut in half evenly. So basically, we lost a 44, because right here we have 9 44s. We dropped down to 8 44s in order to cut it in half. So, 8 44s, cut 8 in half is 4, double the 44, you get 88. So now, what we have is 8 times 44, instead of 9 times 44. So we lost a 44. But, this is 8 times 44, this is the same as 8 times 44. And this is the same as 8 times 44, so all we're missing is that 144 we lost up here. So what we do is we add them together. 352 plus 44 is 396. And I'm just going to pull up my calculator so you can see that that is a true answer. Calculator, calculator, it's already solved and everything. 36 times 11, 396. 396, same thing we got with our Russian peasant method. Before I stop, I'm going to show one more reason why this works. What we're going to do is we're going to look at what we're doing to the 11. So this right here is 11 times 1. 11 times 1 is 11. Anything times itself is itself. Down here, we did 11 times 2 is 22. And then 11 times 4 is 44. And 11 times 8 is 88. And 11 times 16 is 76. And 11 times 32 is 352. This is doubling. We doubled, so the number we multiplied doubled. So, ignore the ones that are crossed out, because we didn't even use those. We're just going to take the ones we used and add them together. 32 and 4 makes 36. Thirty-six is what we were multiplying by to begin with. So basically, what we did was 32 times 11 plus 4 times 11. 32 11s and 4 11s make 36 11s. So it's the same answer. That's another way that Russian peasant method works. Now you need to be able to explain this as a part of your presentation. So you might want to practice it a couple of times and see if it makes sense to you. And if you need any more examples, raise a quiet hand and I will come to help.